Hey everybody, I'm here to show you how to run the auto setter using iScout and USB. It's very easy to do, and honestly, once you figure out how to put in the information correctly, it is very simple to set up. So firstly, get your iScout API key. If you don't have one, go get one. And the link is a description on the iScout page if you need to get one. If you already got one, great, let's continue. So first, you need to go through the collective tab, and we're going to make a boss collective key. So make sure you're in this tab and generate boss key here. Okay, once you're here and got the boss key, basically the collective keys where our bosses are going to go in the collective. If you wanna go here on the left, then click view boss collective queue. This is where the bosses will go. Secondly, we need to use our iScout key. So on the bottom here, there's a button called manage iScout. So here you need to add your iScout API key. Keep in mind, it is not in the collective key. It's different. So paste in your API key and add new key. Next, you need to associate your iScout key with the collective key you just made. So click view, add the key you created. Okay, great. Once you have associated your key, click connect. And you should see status online and main equal to true. Basically main being true means that bosses are being fed. So just make sure that the online is true and main is true. If you see an online status is online and you see main is false, all that means is that someone else is running the same API key on your account. You cannot use the same API key on multiple accounts, but maybe if you have a multiple, another instance of this application open. So main is true. That's good. Okay. Okay. Next, let's look at the queue and wait for bosses to be fed into here. So do not go and try to run the auto setter until you see bosses. Keep in mind that you do need to make sure you pick bosses on the iScout webpage. It's pretty easy to do, so make sure that you go and do that. Okay, now we'll just wait. Okay, and you can see we've got some bosses. Keep in mind, I'm doing this on an off event day, so there's no, no like witches, no humors, no nothing. We're just literally on off event. So we got Serbs. We got Hydras here and some other stuff. Okay. So now that you've done that, the important part is you need to go into your profile and you need to pick the key that you've created, the collective key. Select that, okay, because this lets this tab know, this instance know that, okay, we're going to go grab bosses from this collective key, which is these bosses in this collective queue, okay? So now once that's done, you need to go to auto setter and make sure you select retrieve from collective. And then that is pretty much it for getting boss from the collective. You'll need to get bosses from the collective at this point. Next, you need to add a preset. So name it whatever. I'm going to call it Cerberus since there's some Serbs in there and pretty much at it. And let's add some Cerberuses. I can kill all of them, but I'll just go for level two, three, and four. And this will only kill level two, three, fours. And next up, you can choose to use a preset input troop amount if you set troop amount and use preset march. For big bosses, I like to use preset, the troop amount, and for very weak bosses like level two Serbs or level one Serbs, I will just use a preset. But for this example, I'll just go preset input troop march in my scenario preset. Four is my big cab march. Okay, and then we got to input the total amount of troops that we want to use. So I'll just say like three million. Okay, and then next up, we want to pick what kind. So mounted and say T16. And then basically, if you do not use this general, this preset will only be used once per boss. So this preset setting will only be used once per boss. But if you do use this general, keep it in mind that it will search for generals X amount of times based on your list of general settings. So let's say, okay, I want to do this two times. Basically, in general, it'll just look at your preset. Is there a general there? Okay, great. Set the input, the troops, set the boss. That's one time. And then I'll go back and click preset four again for the same boss. And then based on your settings, if I want to search, okay, it will search for the general and then set the boss a second time. And then it won't do that preset again until March is free. So let's just say, okay, I've got like, I don't know, Hannibal in my main preset. And then I've got an Ethophate for the second one that I want to use to kill a boss. 
okay? And I don't care about assistant. Yeah, so I'll just do that. Again, if you want to add assistance, you can do that here, but basically search the general and And if you have a general in the preset already and you don't want to use that general in the preset, you can override it and it'll actually override the general. And then you can search the generals that you have here. And if you want to make searching a little faster, there's the categories. You can select and if you got them in favorites, it makes it even faster. Okay. And then if for some reason your general that you want to look for is all the way in the bottom, you can increase the swipe attempts. But usually your big generals are defaulted to the top, so hopefully you don't need to increase that. Okay, and then next steps. Basically, that's it. And then you need to click use preset. Okay, so that's all you need to do. One more thing I'll mention is boundary zones. This is pretty easy to do as well. If you go back into collective and you click create a new boundary, if you want to avoid hitting certain areas, you can set up a boundary zone. So you gotta create a new one and I'll just call it avoid top left or something. Okay. Basically, this is kind of the map in the game. You got 600 to 600 and these other coordinates. Okay, in the game, this thing's rotated 45 degrees. So you can just imagine it that way. But really, if I want to avoid the top left corner of the map, I'm just going to do this. And that's it. Literally, I won't hit anything within basically 00 to 275, 225. So once I do all that, all I have to do is go to my auto setter and enable the zone, okay? And then click refresh if you just created it. Then avoid top left. And if there are any chords in the collective that are in that top left, it will not pull them. Okay. So this is very easy, guys, honestly. Just I see some people. Some people are really good at this. And some people, they don't understand and struggle. But if you follow this video and just understand the flow, it's very easy. So that's honestly all you need to do. Okay. Thank you for watching.